more green health bars. more darkness resistance. Let's see. 279. Okay. Wow, I'm one short. Well, okay. Uh, so that's good for now. Back to the hideout. Alright. What's the next map? Uh, I've done all the tier two. Greetings. Bad. Didn't who was it? Greetings. Someone that sold maps. Was it Kirak? Someone say. sold maps. Kirak sells maps. Dunes. Got my eye on you. You flirting with me, Kirak? He's like, I'm watching you. Oh. Keep doing what you're doing. Greetings. Tell that stuff. Go with that. courage. Okay. Dunes time. Gilbert's too jant there. What's your promo code? Something. Uh, this is a link to my promo code, and I thank you for using it. There's no to, to clarify. You just use that link, and then it opens up the store. And then if you buy there with uh, without like ad blocking or something, then it works. There's no actual promo code that you type in at checkout, and that is for the standalone client, not Steam. But thank you much. Yeah, I admit it would be easier if they had a promo code type system for the creators, uh, but I am grateful for what they've given me. It's not without its flaws, but still appreciated. 125 amber. When I'm ready, and not before. Level up. I don't want to stop moving and have my summons start timing out, so I'll deal with that after this map. I need to start playing PoE. I can never get into this game because my talent trees are insane. It hurts my head. Uh, fair. Um, I have are actually okay. If you haven't, I'm gonna say this in a way that someone that does not play PoE could still, you know, be part of the conversation. Path of Exile. When you start playing it, you know, there's Act One and then there's a boss at the end of Act Two and then there's a boss at the end. And after ten acts of story, then you go into maps, which is like repeatable, uh, randomly generated content uh, at the end game. And I'm currently in maps right now. Now, the axe, when Path of Exile first came out, I think it had like three axes. And I cleared the whole game at that time. I enjoyed it a lot. Then, um, and the, the talent tree was smaller. Then they, you know, added more onto the game. It had five axes, I think, and I cleared the whole game. Then they eventually got to ten axes, and you know, uh, I think there was like five axes in the maps, and then they did ten axes in the maps. Um, and the point is, like, for a very long time, I, I cleared what they were putting out. Um, at this point, the end game is so, like, super duper ultra insane, I have not cleared the current end game. So right now, I'm playing the game again, but I'm actually following a, a guide from 
you know, one of the mucklucks of this game, uh, to see if I get further than I was able to get on my own. Uh, so I've actually got, uh, I think 1,600 hours in this game, according to Steam. It's, uh, it's one I've enjoyed for a long time. But yeah, it's not for everyone. Um... Folks like yourself that tell me they're interested in playing ARPGs, but if they have not played one before, I do not recommend PoE. Uh, they absolutely can play it, and I'll help them if they do. But if they're playing one for the first time, I usually recommend either Grim Dawn or Last Epoch, because Path of Exile... Path of Exile is a lot. And this is one of two trees. It is a lot. So it, it is for people that like ARPGs, and they like the depth. And judging by how insanely successful it's doing, uh, there, there's definitely a huge customer base for it. Queen's Decree! I've used that before. The Summoner Two-Hand Sword. Minions do more damage, plus one of the max number of zombies, skeletons, and specters. Probably something. Hold on a sec. Doing a little test. I think my chat bot on YouTube is acting up. I'll have to manually type any uh, related links over there for right now. Just realized earlier when it did exclamation GW2, it didn't work on the YouTube side. It only came up on the Twitch side. It should have come up on both. Uh, all right, I'll just toss those. Go with courage. Okay. Let's see. Alright, so I'm supposed to get... I'm gonna go back to the tree of the path of the building here. Um, oh, they also got these. Okay. Well, do I get that now? What do they get here? They got... Auras from skills have a 10% increased effect on you. That's just gonna be armor. 30 life. Uh, this one, they got minions penetrate 8% of... Cur oh, wait, we're not using curses yet. That's not gonna help right now. Mm, I'll come back to that. What did they take for the shield mode? We got one per plus one percent chance to block attack damage per five percent chance to block on the equipped shield. Uh, twenty percent increased effect of offerings. We're not using offerings right now. Socket over there. Lots of sockets that we're not currently using. And they got this node related to minion critical strike chance. All right, I guess I'll start going for that. Just use your link to my Janthier. Hopefully it works. I appreciate that. Thank you much. Thank you, thank you. More scarabs found. That's the trail. Okay. Layer map. Got my eye on you. Okay. What is the holy crap? I like Diablo series of Grim Dawn, so I'm like, do I dare try this? The holy crap? Uh, oh, what is that holy crap? Okay, sorry, I, I, I understand now. Uh, are you planning a necromancer or something? Uh, yes, okay, so there's a lot of build diversity in this game. I am started out playing a witch, and then witch, when she gets her ascendancy, can become either an elementalist, a necromancer, or an occultist. I'm playing a necromancer. Now, currently, I've got these little zombie dudes, and I've amplified their health. Their main job is just to get in the enemy's way and keep them off of me. They don't do a lot of damage right now. The stone golem does a little bit of damage, but it also really increases my health regen while it's alive. That's its job. And our main source of damage with the build I'm playing right now is this spell called Absolution. If I kill something with that, it summons a ghost, which is really powerful, that fights for me for like 20 seconds. And if I get another kill with it, it refreshes the timer of the ghosts. So they're the, like, ethereal-looking ghosts. So the, the damage source of this is just keep zapping, and it keeps summoning, and then we just keep pushing. Does that spell drop from enemies? Uh, yeah, but you can buy it in Act 1 at like level 12. It's called Absolution. The witch and a couple of the other classes will have it show up on the merchant after they've done the like level 12 quest in town. That's the dudes. 
No, the dudes. Hold on, I'll show you the dudes in a second. We just found an abyss. Alright, summon dudes. Look at the number of health bars on the screen. This summons 35 temporary friends. Vol summons skeletons. I guess the abyss is done. Alright, gotta protect the tree now. Usually use ball for this, but I just burned it to show, show it off. I can't do that. This might suck. So every hit the tree takes, you get less money out of it, so I lost a little bit there. as much as we can carry. All right. You don't have to buy axe or anything? No. How do you summon so many skeletons? Um, okay, so in t for specifically summon skeletons, there's two types. There's one, which is just summon skeletons. You cast it, and it summons a few dudes, and they have a timed life, and they disappear, okay? So, if you, you could do a whole build based around just throwing these at things, right? There's another skill called Vol Summon Skeletons. Vol skills, when you kill enemies, these skills charge up. Once they're fully charged, you may cast them one time, then you have to charge them up again. The Vol Summon Skeletons summons like 35 guys, and then they have a timed life, and then they die. So basically, just when I'm in a big battle, I pop that button. Um, it's actually not even part of this build. I just found the skill gem and I'm like, oh, shoot, heck yeah, I'm gonna use that until I have to replace it, and I'm using it right now. Hello. Um, yeah, that's the main thing. When you're in a fight, you need more men? Exactly. Um, decent, but not better than what I have. Also decent. Go with courage. This is a 63% chaos resist on it, but 25% reduced life. No. Hmm. Do I need the dex 
chips on this. No. Okay, so all this is giving me is 72 life and 22 chaos. This has 34 chaos. See, is it me or is the game audio really loud? It might be. <laughs> Hang on. Wait, what? Oh, that's not chaos. Oh, that's cold. I misread it. I was like, why does my chaos resist go down? I misread what this does. I don't know. Alright, uh... Here, I turned it down a little bit. Sorry, I, I, I vibe to the stuff, uh, the audio in this game. Alright, uh, maps have a 6% chance to grant an additional Kirak mission. There we go. God Slayer. Let's see. Dark Forest incomplete. Okay, Dark Forest next. Got my eye on you. On top of Minions Badge, all those health bars, friends are all that goes. Oh, yeah. There are some computers that cannot handle Vol Summon Skeletons. We already found the arena? Why are my minions not attacking? Did we just do a level where we fought you? You seem quite familiar. My summons are starting to time out. We can't find this freaking guy. There he is. He's just vomiting dogs. Blarg, 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 blarg. Change the Atlas passive tree to also use gold when respecting, or do you still need the orbs? Uh, I do not know. I have not tried respecting my Atlas tree. Margarine of questions: Is there any way of getting an EOD expansion for free? Uh, I occasionally do expansion giveaways. I don't have any to give away right now. And usually, when I do, it's like a drawing thing. You know, it's not just because people ask, because otherwise, I would. If I did that one time, I would get absolutely blasted with more responses than I already do, you know? Um, I will say Guild Wars 2 never gives it the expansions out for free. That's the only way they make money. So usually if uh, there's like a free giveaway, it's like me or another content creator have bought some and we're giving some out. But I don't have any to give out at this time. How long would it take uh, if you're in a new game uh, and you're new to the game to go through all 10 acts? Um, someone said 10 plus hours. I agree with that. 
Yo, it takes me near that time, and I, I'm not even listening to the dialogue because I know it all. I'm just blasting through it. Like this, for a free ARPG, uh, you get a absolutely monumental amount of playtime from this if it's your jam. Ooh, Crimson Arc. Some of the dudes! We got what we need here. How's, how's the trail? Terminus Est. Uh, accuracy, fizz damage, tax speed, increase number of kill. Not bad. Doesn't really fit how I'm playing right now. But not bad. Wow, this ring has 59% fire res. That's a lot. Got my eye on you. Put these in the maybe box for maybe later. Okay. All right. Uh, I want to see. Let me look at skills. All right. What what is my goal right now for a little bit of end game? Six link absolution. We've still got a four link right now. We got a four link with plus one to skill gem level. That's good, but we don't. We got a four link. Trigger setup plus determination. What the hell is a trigger setup? I'm confused by this. Three link trigger setup. All right, let me go to the guide on this webpage. Uh, hmm. What are the links? Uh, hold on, I'll show it. Give me a sec. Okay, so it says three link weapon trigger setup, desecrate bone offering determination. I don't know what trigger setup means. Um, now, I've done builds with, like, cast on damage taken to desecrate and bone offering so that the spells trigger when you get hit. But I don't know what it means in this context. Uh, let's see. Increasing the level of our absolution is key for high damage output, so the optimal approach would be get a convoking wand with plus one level of minion skills and plus one to all spell skill gems. However, to keep the budget down, you can use any one hand with these modifiers. If possible... Uh, oh, here we go. Trigger a socketed spell when you use a skill with an 8 second cooldown convoking wand. Uh, how the hell do I make that? Uh, that's an unveil craft. That's the recipe from the refinery. Oh my god, are you serious? It's a mod on the item. You can learn it from Syndicate Crafting. Okay. Um, hold on. So I got to go back to the refinery and find that thing. We've much. Mm. All right. This would be a good time to get introduced to Craft of Exile. Look, if you're telling me there's more sites besides Path of Building, POE Vault, and also the one for trading, I I don't I, I you're gonna make me quit again. Don't do this to me. I'm already having to do more work now than I did in college to get through this.
All right, I don't, last time I was here, someone told me there was a secret side area with a recipe. I looked around and I didn't find it, missed it, I don't know. If any of y'all see it, yell at me. My boat's back. It looks like a sewer grate. Let's get that for now. RGB. There's a sewer grate. Refinery tunnels. Trigger a socketed spell when you use a skill. Nice. All right, cool. Thank you for telling me what to look for. Okay. Uh, back to hideout. And hello. Greetings. So these two. Oh wait. Oh, that's lower level. Never mind. Journey well. I was like, oh, the modifier is one percent better. Oh wait, it's five levels lower. Okay. So I need to get a convoking one. How come we have gaps in what looks like jewel slots? Uh, I just haven't yet had stuff I needed to put there yet. Okay. Invoking wands are the base type for wands with minion damage modifiers. I think there's other types too. Like here's a convening wand, and it's got a ton of minion damage on it. I guess maybe convoking is just a higher level version.